And we're back! Hold up, can I smack him away like... Oh yeah, give me all them coins. We know how this shit works. Get the damn... Get him out of here. Alright, I'm done. Why are you just three question marks? Are you an ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah. Well, then. I'm Shuichi Saihara. They call me the ultimate detective, but. I fucking knew it, man. I'm smart. I'm smart. Shuichi Saihara. I knew I pronounced that right. They call me the ultimate detective. Ah, okay. But. Huh? You're a detective? That's amazing! No. Uh, no. I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I came across and now people call me that. No. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, My yeah. Name is Kaede Agamatsu. Oh. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you. Hmm. Ultimate pianist. Well, no one calls me the ultimate pianist, usually just piano freak. Ever since I was a child, I would play the piano whenever I got bored. <laughs> Why they make your head so damn big? What? There were even times I played the piano so much that I would forget to eat and sleep. Yeah, that would definitely make you an ultimate. Like, your head to body proportion in your baby pictures is hilarious. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. That's how you got your ultimate title? And that's way more impressive than me. No, that's all I'm good for, really. This is my first time meeting another Ultimate student. Well, well, Ultimates are scattered all over the country. They're difficult to find. Um. I'm sure there's adults who are Ultimates too. They just don't ever put them in these games for some reason. I guess with adults, it'll be a lot harder to convince them to kill each other. Because teens are all hormonally struck and shit. But all that teen angst. Obviously, they're gonna murder somebody. Even so, there are 16 ultimate students gathered here now. But why is everyone here? Were we kidnapped? If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the ultimates? Hey! Ah, uh, about that. I don't remember. Huh? You don't remember? Uh, um... I've been trying to remember it, but I can't. No matter how hard I try. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got there. It's like that memory just fell out of my head. Uh, same here! You know? I can't remember anything. Even though I'm trying so hard to remember. What the fuck? How do you make that sound? Huh? What happened? Uh, are you okay? What's wrong? No. I'm fine. I just got a headache, that's all. But... It 
can't be a coincidence that we both don't remember. What happened to us? Um... I'm... I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. Alright. We're confused. We just need to relax is all. Oh! Let's imagine... Maurice Ravel's... Son... Sonatin? Sonatin? Son... You really are a piano nut. I don't know how to pronounce any of these. That's None of this. Is that music? I don't really know much about music. I I'm aight. I don't know how to pronounce that shit, but I'm aight, you know. Got a little piano thing going myself, just saying. I see. That's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. But first, let's look for a way out. And if there are other ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least one of them has to know something. You're right. Yeah, good idea. Not this shit again. You can leave a, a room by pressing sir, yeah, okay. Am I gonna get chased again? What's going on? Six minutes in. They don't cut no grass. So oppressively heavy, as if it's forcing you to recall your fears, smothering you in anxiety. But this is just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? School for juveniles. Damn, how you just pop up like that? What's the matter? Uh, um... I just felt something in the pocket of my uniform. When I look, remember, I found this inside. Oh, I found this inside. It's some kind of mini tablet computer. Oh, I said that wrong. Let me try it again. I found this inside. It's some kind of mini tablet computer? Oh! Maybe I have one too! I knew my backpack felt heavier. What? The word monopad is written on it. When did this get in my backpack? My name was displayed when I booted it up. When it booted up. Like a student handbook. I. I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. See, it'd be shit like that. That's so sus. Let's just hold on to them for now. Yeah. I agree. Where you just go? Where you just spin to? Getting closer to your fellow students, your report card will update with content. Man. Oh, yeah, we know how this goes. To basically tell you who those who hadn't played Danganronpa 2 or 1. They're basically saying the more of these little fragments I collect, and the more I update these report cards, the more skills I get for what's about to happen later on. Find your classmates. Uh, wait a minute, is this a music room? Damn, the only music room in here and you can't even get in. Damn. Huh? It won't open, but this room does look like it was made for me. <laughs> right. You can't even get in. <laughs> what? Uh, 
And they're here again. What do you think this place is? Check out all this fancy schmancy writing. Seems like a place for eggheads. Isn't this an ultimate research lab? Research lab. What the hell? Why would you tell them? We were trying to make it all dramatic. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. What's an ultimate research lab? We want you guys to keep honing your ultimate talents, so we set up these rooms for you. So that is your room. This is the ultimate pianist lab, but we set up labs for the other ultimates too, of course. Most of them are still hidden though. By the way, the reason this research lab is still locked is... Is... Because we're still setting up everything, sorry. We'll hustle to get it all ready. You got it. The hell you saying? Now, why can't you read your script like the last guy? That's good advice and all, but don't you mean to say hold your horses? That makes even less sense. I don't have any horses to hold. The poo hoo hoos! Mona Kid is such a dummy. Where is Mona Kuma at? Like, how does he let all this shit go on and he's not, like, at least putting an input? What are you laughing at? I'll bully you like I bully Monodom. You were the reason he doesn't talk. Guess I'm not going there. Seems like the music room, but I guess it's an ultimate lab. Hey! Do you think there really are other rooms like this for everyone? Hmm. I wonder about that too. Um, anyway, I thought this was the music room. Ah, I really wanted to play the piano. Oh well. I can play as much as piano as I want. When I finally escape this place. Twelve minutes. What the fuck? ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Can we talk? Did she not hear me? Okay, then. Hey, hello! Oh, you tro she trolling. You know with them puny ass ears, you could have still heard that. She still can't hear me. Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin? Maybe she's deaf. Nah. Cause you were in that room. You heard. You don't just forget how to hear. No. I don't think that's the case. No. You never know. We already saw a moving teddy bear. Facts. Said that the same I said the same damn thing when I played the first game. Fucking teddy bear. He was wilding out his ass. As I said that, I poked her cheek. And I felt her skin squish beneath my fingertip. That's hilarious. Poking her doesn't work either. Then maybe she is just a doll. But she looks so real. Try it, Shuichi. Poke, poke. Ah, uh, no thanks. Just do it, it's so fun! So I grabbed his hand to make him poke her other cheek. I never thought it'd be... What? I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. She got that ass. It wasn't, wasn't until Shuichi poked, though. So she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. If you knew that, why did you make me poke her? Huh? Because she wasn't responding. No. I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. 
so I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. But the situation that we're in right now requires us to talk, sadly. But I get it. Like, that's the people out in the real world and somebody just came up to you trying to talk to you and then resorted to poking you. You'd be pissed. You, you feel some type of way. You were ignoring us? Isn't that a bit rude? Yeah, but you poked both of her cheeks. Um, well, isn't it rude to force someone to talk when they don't want to? Yeah, like, <laughs> that's basically what we did. Oh, but it's fine. I feel like talking now. All right. Let's talk. 15 minutes in. Damn, camera, what do you want to start with? My favorite Dormon episode is 53. The one with security cameras and target practice. You know? Um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? Hi, my name is Timothy Shirobani. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. Samugi. So you're a cosplayer. I guess. Are you surprised? I get that a lot, since I'm so plain. No. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. Well, damn, okay, shoot your shot, Kaede. I see. I bet it's because you got people ogling all your curves on a daily basis, huh? You don't give a fuck. <laughs> Alright, Kaede, you're my favorite character so far. Um... Kaede, you sound like a creepy old man. You don't give a fuck. Normally, I don't really like people looking at me like that. Actually, I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. But... Why are we getting close? But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before the characters. You're right. I'd rather wear my outfits myself with love than give them to people like that. Wow, you're pretty intense. Oh. It makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. I see. Oh, well, of course the Ultimate Cosplayer would have sponsors. No. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at the zoo. Mm. That's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know. Ah, is it alright if I ask you something too? Earlier, you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What was it? Yeah, that's right. Ooh. We needed to ask her that? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we needed to ask her that. Nice job, Shuichi. It's from that one thing. That's your voice? Uh, that bronze dragon statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. Who is this, Shinron? Omega Shinron? Purunga? It almost seems like it's floating, right? Doesn't it look pretty out of place? Yeah. Now that you mention it, you're right. It sort of bothers me too. This is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There's trees and grass growing inside. I can't find any exits. And it seems like we're the only people here. Actually. Are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to get out? Um, Kaede, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. That frightened look on her face was sort of sexy, bruh. <laughs> she don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this again. I'm just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. I see. You're pretty optimistic, Kaede. Mm. Well, people do say I'm carefree. She don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's right. 
Worrying won't get you anywhere, you know? Oh, worrying won't get you anywhere, you know? It's better just to be carefree. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. Yeah. Yeah. So let's try to find a way out. Do I get any special abilities? What is this thing? What is this? That transition was wild. Slowly just... That was... Alright, that was cool. It was like a dragon statue. But why is there a dragon statue in the school's hallway? No. I have no idea. Maybe it's part of the school's official art collection or something. Still no idea. Why am I looking down? This is wild. I never thought. I guess we can't go that way. Anybody in here? If not, I'll go back. Checking everywhere before I go downstairs. Hey! Wait for me. Stop. Don't come any closer. That boy in the white is chasing that other boy in funny clothes. Damn, what is you a robot? What's happening here? <laughs> I got his song just came right back on the second I clicked on it. Come on, wait up! Oh, I know this dude. Kokichi. Oh yeah. I hadn't heard about you. This is the big bad Kokichi. Oh yeah. Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. He is a robot. Huh? Big bad Kokichi. What is it? What is it? Are you another Robophobe? Robo what? That's enough. I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic comments or remarks, I will see you in court. I guarantee you that's not gonna help. Did you see the toy become human? You're fucked. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? No. Are you one of the monocubs? Please stop. Do not compare me to those toys. I am not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kiva. Kiva. I kinda look like Kiva. Hmm. It's not fair, you can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. You're already on bullshit. <laughs> I like it. I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. So many memes about this nigga. We about to see. I'm excited. We I can't wait. We about to see. We about to see about you. A robot and supreme leader? Neither of them make any sense. I don't know how you become the ultimate robot or the ultimate supreme leader. I feel like those are subjective. It's not intangible. By the way. I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. Damn. My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. So, do you smell like electricity? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not funny. You got it. Right? 
Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me! I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. How many of them? Because, bro, some of them ain't that funny, dude. It's like a little small circle and then the rest are unfunny people. I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Um. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. Huh? You're a high school student? Cyborg. Yeah. I was created by Professor Robotnik. Oh, Idabashi. The leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed in me a strong AI, capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But, but the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things until finally he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now, I stand here before you all. See? I'm just like everyone else. Hey! hey. Do robots have dicks? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we here for this shit. Hey. About 26 minutes in, please do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for <laughs> Damn. He on your ass. He on your ass. Well, I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. I don't. Explain it to me. How can you... There's so many robots. We just ran away from like five of them. What the... How is he the ultimate robot when they built ultimate robots? Hey, Kokichi. I don't really understand your ultimate supreme leader talent. Yeah, explain that shit. How are you an ultimate supreme leader? Oh, I'm just the supreme leader of an eagle. Eagle? What evil secret organization? That's all. Why did the music stop? You one of those, huh? huh? You a Nakito? If you don't know about that one. I ain't even gonna say much. I'm gonna say less. Just know. I hate that motherfucker. What? Um... I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Now the uh, song is all ominous now. Seriously, the supreme... Oh, seriously? The supreme leader of an evil organization? Because I'm a liar. Who knows? I am a liar after all. The memes begin. Huh? So you were lying just now? It's true! Well, and the song is back. Well... I am the supreme leader of an evil organization, or secret organization. That part was true. Jeez. So were you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Hey. Oh, he's gonna be fun. By the way, what is the name of that organization? Ah. It's a secret, you know. Cause it's, oh, it's a secret, you know. Cause it's a secret organization. But but I've never heard of such a large secret organization like that. Maybe. Of course you haven't, because it's a secret organization. Jeez. Hey, everything he said so far has sounded like a lie, so that's gotta be a lie too, right? Yeah. Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. See, then you said that shit, now I'm not so sure. <laughs> well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because robots aren't people, silly. He is on your ass. He made you grr. Oh, you mad? Are you gonna hit me with a rocket punch? He is on, <laughs> he is on your ass. We called you Android 16. Damn. I don't have that function. Damn. Oh man, you're boring. <laughs> Damn! What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous little kid. This is no time to be joking around unless he 
He really is an evil supreme leader. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Kokichi gonna make this playthrough for me. Yeah, let's get out of here. I got heli coins. I don't know what to spend them on. That's downstairs. I don't want to go downstairs. Man, this map is wild. That's upstairs. Those are the bathrooms. No need to go there. I forget I'm a girl. I can go in there. There's a guy there. Anybody else? Oh, yeah. This dude here is suspect. Oh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? Run Taro? Oh, yeah. Uh, I remember you. Well, you both look alright. That's good. Situation could be better, though. Yeah, totally. 30 minutes in. Hey, let me ask you something. You guys remember how you got here? If you're asking us, then you don't remember either, do you? Huh. <laughs> the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Everyone? No. I asked the others too. They all said they don't remember. So the others don't remember either. It's like we all have amnesia or something. But that's not normal. If everyone here has amnesia. Well, I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation then. Why did you stop the music? See, you and Kokichi pulled this shit earlier. Huh? And then this ominous shit comes back on. What? That's not true. Wait, amnesia's a stretch. We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. No. Damn. <laughs> or it could be a group hypnosis. Maybe brainwashing. See? <laughs> I already don't... I don't trust you, Ryan Taro. In any case, I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. What? You got me. Phew. I'm in trouble. I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Of course it is. But then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you. But then, I forgot I did, right? No. No, you haven't told me your name yet. My name is Rantaro Omar. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. Ultimate traitor. But I promise, I'm not the bad guy. Nice to meet you. I promise I'm not the bad guy. Fuck out of here, boy. I'm on your ass. For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Right! Remember how everybody else was when they couldn't remember shit? And then look at this dude. Look at him che- Look at him cheesing! Actually. Is it weird? And I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't- And he can read minds? What? Huh? Shut sure up, stomach. You. You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. <laughs> ultimate mastermind. Anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Like, how do you know that? Jeez. You know way too much. Stop that. We'll escape soon. You really think it's going to be that easy? Huh? What do you mean? No. Nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> Don't worry about it, alright? I thought he would be pretty... I thought he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but... I have no idea what's going through his head right now. He's about to fuck us over, that's what's going through his head. My camera about to die. 
How did I get a friendship point from this dude? Well, anyway, my camera's about to fucking die. I'm gonna get the other part later.